Hey everyone, Ozzy Viking here to do another video of Last Jedi, Last Jedi, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter. I uh, never played this when it first came out at all. I wish I did, um, but out of all the games I could have had on the original Xbox, this was not one of them. I did always want it though. I wanted all the Star Wars games growing up because Star Wars games were the shit. This was made, but this is back when Lucasfilm actually, Lucas Arts, Lucasfilm actually made the shit. Unlike Disney now, who just gives us nothing. Although Battlefront 2 is good. I do enjoy Battlefront 2 a lot. That's it. So, we're going to play it. And I'm very happy. I've played a bit of it. Um, it's very fun. I have to admit. Ooh. Okay, so. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Die, die, die. Hang on. Is he, he's, is, is he ours? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing red. And it's like, that's red. Um, am I supposed to hurt you? We've got the shield, awesome. That's our that's our Jedi um things, which is really cool to be truthful. Story looks like it's not too bad here. Um, either this is the first level though. You got some crazy ass zoom, I tell you. Oh, shit. It is good that you've got unlimited ammo too. Can you destroy these? No. You can unlock different um. Uh, like the Starfighter Squadron games, you can unlock different um, vehicles to play as later on in the game, which is really cool. You can get TIE Fighters, Rogue One, not Rogue One, the uh, Slave One, and stuff like that, which is awesome. So, topics to talk about. Well, the new patch for Battlefront 2 came out, and I've got to admit, it's really good. Um, first up, all the maps are now offline, playable. They're not open-open, as in the whole map. They're just sections of it, but they're... It's something, you know. We've now got all of the... Uh, offline maps, basically. Um, AI is a lot better, and all we really need now is to have special troopers like the Flame Troopers and the Wookiee Warriors to be AI compatible, which is possible, okay? In the campaign, um, you actually get that. So if DICE come out and say it's impossible, well, they're full of it. At the very most, though, I, I feel like within the next patch or two, we'll get what we want, more or less. Um, and then hopefully Starfighter Assault um, and then we'll move on, hopefully, to uh, bigger maps mode. The only thing that I'd be iffy about is... Not iffy about, but the only thing... I, I, I'd love to see Hero AI, which I doubt we're going to get. I mean, it's plausible. It's extremely plausible they could get Hero AI because there are so many games out there that have had Hero AI. You look at the original Battlefront 2, you look at games like um, Jedi Academy and uh, Jedi Outcast where they had, like... Force powers and Jedi and Sith fighting each other, like it's plausible. And then Revenge of the Sith game, it's completely plausible to have AI become Jedi. It just depends on really how good the AI um, creators are from Dice, which I think is plausible. I think it's really interesting. Um, I imagine though that we'll wait and see. Like if they give us Starfighter Assault and it has hero ships in it, I think a lot of people will be like, "Look, we want hero ships, like hero AI." And I would agree. It's plausible. It's definitely possible. And um, I guess we'll have to wait and see. We should all talk about it though, because holy shit, could you just imagine that? Playing offline with AI and stuff? Holy shit, yeah. Because the AI did get really, holy shit, that it's a big thing. The AI really did actually have a really good, um, what was it? Uh, upgrade. Okay, let's destroy it. I can't hear what they're, I can't actually hear what they're saying, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I wish I, I should have tried to get like a, Oh shit, my bad. I think I can get uh, headphones to listen, but I don't know. If this was Xbox One and X compatible, I could, which would have been nice, but not yet. Then again, it might come compatible one day and I can do it like that. Is it should have it gone down, sweet. Oh shit, 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 shit. Playing this really makes me want to also play um, Rogue Squadron, which I, I sort of did as a kid. I remember playing the N64 Rogue Squadron or Rogue... Um, whatever the game was. I liked it, but I never fully... I never had an N64 growing up. I had a PlayStation instead. And then Xbox were my last ones. I never had a PlayStation 2. I had a GameCube, but I never got on GameCube because it costs a lot. I might try it now because I'm, I'm actually collecting a lot of old games, um, which is good. Shit. I really wish you could unlock weapons. There might be some way to unlock weapons in this. I don't know. The Jedi is taking over the... The CAS. Awesome. So another thing to talk about, because Battlefront 2 is definitely coming a better game, I might make a video on how 
similar better it is to the original Battlefront 2005, which they're, they're like, it's, overall, it's probably almost the same, but I think 2017 beats out to, um, 2015 in quite a few ways. Um, not all of them, but it, there is a few things that the 2015, 2017 game beats out in the 2005 game, which is kind of standard, you know, kind of understandable. Um, but yeah. So another thing that's been announced is the last Jedi release date, which is I think the 28th of March, I believe, near the end of March. I don't, oh, I don't know how to feel because it's got a lot of, it's going to have a lot more deleted scenes, but whether or not they're going to be considered canon is interesting. Probably will be, knowing, um, knowing Disney, they are very good at keeping things canon. <clears throat> Because they consider a lot of the deleted scenes from the prequels canon, and I'm sure a lot of the deleted scenes from the original trilogy canon, which is which is great. Um, it just makes me wonder if they're going to give us any extended stuff into the movie. Probably not. I would like that, but I doubt it. I absolutely doubt it. But um, you know what? Depending on how much it costs in Australia, I might actually possibly get it because I did like The Last Jedi. Is it a flawless film? No. Is it, uh, is it a great film? No. Well, it's, it's, it's a good film. I wouldn't call it a great film. I'd call it a good film. Is it the best Star Wars film ever made? Hell no. Is it the worst? Hell no. Episode 7 still is the worst Star Wars film. But it's... It's... It's it's not as bad as I think a lot of people are saying. Um, I think a lot of people have uh, jumped in and said, look, it's the worst film ever made, but Star Wars fans are a bit... Let's be honest here. Logic and Star Wars... Logic... And Star Wars fans, well, you can only pick one, <laughs> you know. You can't put them together. Not really. So, I did like The Last Jedi, though. Um, I did like it better than Episode 7, if you've seen my review on it. My, I guess my review on it. But it could have been better, absolutely. Um, and they did screw up a few characters. But I'm going to see. Like, I feel like a lot of Star Wars fans are waiting for the last film to come out next year to fully go, okay... So how is it now? Because one last film is all it takes to bring it together. They could pull a Revenge of the Sith and have Revenge of the have the last film of this series be really, really good. Although some things I don't think are going to be compatible. As in, Ray, if they make her a badass flawed character in this one, in the next film, that's cool. But for a lot of fans, they're going to be like, well, why the hell wasn't it like that in the first place? Which I actually agree with. Or they're going to be like, what about Knights of Ren? Knights of Ren, I think, will be badasses. I think they'll be in the game and they're going to be just awesome. So, no no harm there. But then you've got people like, well, what about Snoke? Are you going to get any more backstory? What's going to happen to Kylo? Is he going to die? If he does, that's kind of just following the same template. Is he going to become a good guy? Or is he just going to, you know, like, they're really opening it up to a lot. Like, there's a lot of shit that needs to be done in episode uh, 89. You think it's 9, 7, 8? Yeah, episode 9. There's a lot of shit that needs to be done. That JJ, JJ, I don't think is 100% the best person for it. Because, you know, he gave us episode 7. And then you got Kathleen Kennedy, who, well, you know, pushes her agenda. I mean, I wouldn't surprise me if by the end of it, she's like, raised like God. She just becomes like Abeloth 2.0. Just shitter. <laughs> but we'll see. It could, it, it could be a big turnaround because it could be 10, 20 years later. I doubt it. Okay, it would be 20 years, but it'd probably be 10 years later between five and ten years later, I hope. And who knows, if they give us a good time um, difference and there's a big change to the galaxy, I would be ha I would at least be happy with that, you know. If we get a big, big change to the galaxy, I am going to be okay with that and very happy. But whether or not we do is, well, up to JJ and up to whoever. Am I supposed to destroy these? I don't know. I didn't put subtitles on. I should have put subtitles on. What an idiot. So, yeah. Ooh. That's cool. But, it's gonna, I mean, I'm gonna see it. Like, here's the thing. I'm gonna see Han Solo in the theaters. I'm going to see, um the new Star Wars film when it comes out. I'm going to see all of them. I definitely am. But, I'm not going to watch them multiple times. Like, with the older Star Wars films, I was happy to watch them. I bought them day one on Blu-ray and DVD or whatever they were. I watched them multiple times. I haven't really done that with the uh, Disney stuff. I mean, I might watch, 
Like in cinemas, I watched episode seven twice, and then after that, I was like, yeah, I don't really want to watch it. Every time, every time I watch episode seven since then, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling the mood. There's some great bits in it, but I'm just not overall feeling it. Um, episode eight, um, I liked watching it. I enjoyed it, but and I want to watch it more. But I thought I I want to watch more of it again and again, but I don't want to pay a lot of money each time. You know, I don't want to see it five times and have to pay fifty bucks or plus dollars to see it. That I didn't. It didn't feel like it was that good of a movie. I would definitely see it later on. I mean, but when it comes out on Blu-ray and DVD, that's when I'll see it multiple times. But yeah, that's my kind of view on um, the, the Disney Star Wars ones. And it's like I don't really feel like watching it multiple times with the prequels and the original trilogy. I just kept watching them. Like as soon as I got them on Blu-ray and or uh, DVD, I just watched them over and over again. It was great. I loved it. What the hell am I supposed to be attacking? Is it the U boat? It doesn't look like it's getting hurt. Hang on, let's zoom in and have a look. Oh, maybe you can only get it when they're coming out. That would make sense. Okay. So, yeah. I really, I really hope Disney kind of fixes it because. Uh, oh, shit. Go away. Stop it. Stop attacking this base, you bitches. This is before the Clone Wars. Which, by the way, today I've ordered the Clone Wars Xbox game. So I'll be doing a video on that. And I'm really excited because that one, that was a game I wanted to play for way too many, for way too long. But I never found it. <laughs> I never found it. Uh, I kind of hate that when you're like a kid and there's a lot of things you want and you kind of go like, you, you put the new stuff against the old. The amount of times I saw the old Star Wars games available in like pawn shops and cheap shops and stuff and you didn't buy it because you thought oh I'll stick to the newer stuff and it's like why why didn't I why did I stick to the newer stuff what am I an idiot uh, I guess those are the rules of life isn't it you learn from your mistakes and I've definitely learned from my mistakes um, but yeah it's still annoying absolutely this game is pretty damn fun I gotta admit it is only one single starfighter I think but you do get to unlock newer vehicles, and I think we play the whole game in like a new vehicle, which is cool. I like it when games give you unlocks. Remember when games gave you unlocks for doing something, and it was awesome and worth your time? Okay, can I kill you? Uh, I probably should have killed you. No, that's not going down, okay. Let's just destroy these things. Okay. It's kind of funny, like, if you compare this to the other... Then again, if you make a full dogfighting game, there is going to be a difference of, um, I guess, quality. You look at the dogfighting in Battlefront 2, <clears throat> 2017, and it's really good. Like, the dogfighting in that game is really good. But there are some moments where it's like, oh, we're going to spend hours just going around in circles trying to catch up to each other. At least in these sort of games, that doesn't really happen. <clears throat> Which, on that, I really hope they give us offline for fighter um, stuff because those fighter maps are really fun they are absolutely fun and worth your time to play and just to get them offline would be great i i love going through the campaign of um battlefront 2 2017 and playing the um the flying maps because they're really fun makes me want makes me want to see criterion take a stab at like the rogue series or another starfighter game or something or a mix of both, you know, do one where it's both eras, a Clone Wars and a non-Clone Wars. That'd be freaking awesome. Just to think what you could do with graphics these days and just games like that makes me just all giddy inside. Just to think what we could have. Whether or not we are going to have it really depends on, well, who takes over. I think I think EA will learn from their mistakes and such. But what, what Disney should do is they shouldn't take the license away, which a lot of people are going crazy on still. Um, <clears throat> what they should do is just say, look, you can still make Star Wars games, but we're going to have other companies make them too. You know, and give give them a warning. Be like, if you fuck up again, you'll we'll take it away forever, and you won't ever get Star Wars licensing back. I mean, I don't know if they can do that with all the stuff you can do, but I think that'd be a great thing to do. It's like, look, you still get to make Star Wars games. It's just you've got to be you can't fuck you can't fuck your people over, and that's true. That's literally how it should be. Don't fuck your customers over with like microtransactions and stuff give us customization in terms of 
well, customization, different skins and stuff, which they're doing. And I imagine that when the new update, which will probably be next month for the new system, uh, upgrade system and stuff for Battlefront 2 comes out, it will give us uh, a fairly large amount of free skins and everything else you just have to buy, which I'm okay for. Like I like I've said, I will buy microtransaction skins if they give it to us and you know they're good prices and stuff. If it's like 10 bucks for like 10 skins, that's not bad, a dollar a skin. Or ten dollars for fifteen skins again, not bad. But that it it depends if they price it right, and I really hope they do. Now is this gonna get hurt? I'm sure that when you're listening to this, you're like, hang on, I can hear what's going on. I can't hear a damn thing. Unfortunately. And I haven't gotten my win there. How long? Is it? I'll do one more level after this and then we can stop. Because I have to admit, I'm loving it. It's hard, but it's fun. I, and I'm actually getting mixed up with like the shooting and stuff from Battlefront 2. <laughs> so, that doesn't help. I wonder if there's a Clone Wars level. That'd be pretty badass, I have to admit. That'd be really cool. It kind of sucks that the Rogue Squadron games weren't on like Xbox and PlayStation. Only GameCube and Nintendo, which I kind of get. It's kind of cool, but... It's good that there's no more exclusive Star Wars games anymore, at least I don't think so. Um, because those were kind of dumb, really. Yeah, I like that one, like Force Lightning. Which is a gameplay mechanic, like, let's be honest here, if a Jedi could do that shit, everyone's gonna be like, why the hell did they do it before? <laughs> you know, as everyone's been saying, like, with The Last Jedi, why couldn't, what's his name, use Force Lightning on anyone? If they can, like, interact with people and stuff, and it's like, well, who knows, who cares? Last Jedi wasn't really the most logical Star Wars film, ever. Well, neither was Episode 7, but still. So I do hope that Star Wars in general and stuff do get better. I hope we get better games, games like this, um, more added modes and stuff to Episode, uh, not Episode, um, Battlefront 2. Just more fun games. Like, could you imagine a Jedi Academy 3 or something like that? That'd be great. I really hope we get more Jedi Academy, which I'm going to make sure I buy as well, even though I've got them on PC. Um, but... Like, when it's something as big as Star Wars, I want multiple, because I do want to... I want this all to become backwards compatible. If this comes becomes backwards compatible with um, Xbox One, and Xbox One X and stuff, like, hell yeah. I'm actually in, like, the Millennium Falcon models. I want that shit. I want that shit. And I hope, yeah. I feel like these are... Oh, yes, I can have it. Sweet. I don't know how long... It's like, it's about damn time. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's start. Uh, destroy Scarab so can launch, protect Jenkins in the communication center. Okay, cool. Also, you can go first person mode, which is actually really cool. Although, it's not a cockpit view, which kind of sucks. Because I think, like, even Battlefront 1 had a cockpit view. And, um, I th even think Clone Wars, the game that I'm getting, actually has a cockpit view as well. So, interesting, to say the least. I, I, I'm probably not going to buy every Star Wars game, but probably most of the Star Wars games that I grew up with, or at least were around when I was a kid. Oh, shit. Because... I do somewhat have nostalgia because I actually saw a lot of videos online in the back of the day and <laughs> when it took like five hours to load a video because of, you know, dial up and shit. These just look fun. You know, so good. So, so good. I, I now understand when people like play old like 2D games and it's like, oh my god, this is my childhood and you just play it and they come back and play these 3D games and you're like, hell yeah, childhood made. And it does, it makes me feel like a child because I had that semblance of playing consoles and video games back then. So when I come back and play these old games, even though I never played them as a kid, at least not most of them, I still have the essence of, hey, this is exactly what it felt like back in the day to play them. So it's not that bad of a deal. Come on. Ah, oh, he's underwater, you bastard. Hey, successful. I don't know how it's successful, but yay, successful. One more mission and then we'll stop. Woo! Well, that's a nice looking ship. Although, I guess you could say they do look a bit militarized, but then again, different planets and stuff, that's actually not that bad. So, it kind of comes off pretty well. Although, the one in the middle looks a bit Star Wars ish from the start. The one, yeah, the one next to the Starfire, Jedi Starfire, looks very. Um, Star Wars ish. The one to the right looks like something out of Halo, and the one to the other right looks. Mm, looks alright. 
I guess with better, I guess with better graphics and a slight redesign, you could make them look a hundred percent like real Star Wars ones. Scory scarabs, you didn't destroy the subs. Oh, okay, well, my bad. I should have destroyed all the subs. Absolutely. Destroy the airlock door. Liberator must survive. Destroy the space station defenses. Hey, space station, nice. I think what we need is another game similar to Shadows of the Empire. That game was great. It had um, space fighting. It had on the ground. It had just really good level design. Like, that is a really good game that I kind of want... I reckon there should be like a giant remaster of Star Wars games. Like the Lucas Art Star Wars game remaster where it just comes with like Shadows of the Empire... Dark Forces, um, you know, Jedi Academy games, all these games, like the Clone Wars and stuff, just in one giant package, all in 1080p, 60 frames a second, um, maybe better textures, or at least bumped up resolutions, and slightly bumped up textures, it really depends, because you wouldn't be able to do a full remake, but just like a big thing like that would be freaking amazing. Similar to how they did the Rare Replay. I mean, I hope that happens, because could you imagine how much money? I, I would buy it, like I would buy that shit day one like it could cost a hundred bucks and i would buy that shit you give us 50 fucking star wars games throughout star wars history and they're all like top tier stuff with like dlc if they had it and stuff added in i'm there oh, that's great. Good stuff. oh we're playing somebody else awesome. okay this is a different one yeah okay i gotcha because they've got different oh that's cool that's interesting i like that they let you play as different ones. Okay, he's on our team because he's not red. That one is, though. So I really hope that happens. Like, god damn. Disney, watch this video and get ideas for, like, money makers. Like, holy shit, would I buy a, a fucking replay thing of Lucasfilm Star Wars games? I think everybody would. Especially if you said, swindled it by saying, yep, 60 frames a second, 1080p or 4K if you've got the ability. Actually, 4K would probably, you'd probably have to get 4K on most of those games and on the original Xbox One if you really wanted to. 60 frames 4k yeah you can fully do it so do it <laughs> do it damn it you gotta really tug it though in a way there's no there's no real um by the way looks of it there's no real um uh what is it um, like lock, lock on, like missile lock on sort of thing, where the ammo and stuff, the bolts will uh, lock on to those sort of things. I wonder if I can fly a Naboon fighter. I love, I love those things. Those designs for those Naboon fighters are awesome. We need more maps in Battlefront 2 to play it because there's only one map, and it's like, well, be better. This is really good. And this is a sequel to the original um, one that came out in, when The Phantom Menace came out, so that's interesting. I do wonder what it would, um, I do wonder if they would release that on consoles. Well, other than PlayStation. I really hated the exclusive Star Wars games, that's a bit dumb. At least we're hopefully smart enough now to understand that there really shouldn't be much exclusive Star Wars games. And I guess it must have pay a lot of money, but... Yeah. Oh, is that the guy from the start? I think so. You guys wouldn't know that because I didn't show the start because I was just like, yeah, we'll just do the first bit. Okay, let's go up here and hope... Oh, hello. What the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know, it would be down here, wouldn't it? Okay... Alright, where's the next one? Can I shoot you? Am I supposed to shoot you? No, so that might be... This one there. Turrets. Okay, gotcha. And... There's a Starfighter there. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Hey! There's the Starfighter! Go away! Bloody Starfighters. Don't know how to do anything. Status update, or side. Okay. okay. So there's nothing there, so. But I'm getting shot at by. No. I'm getting shot at by. Ah. Lord Starship. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're on our team, aren't you? God damn it. 
I'm still getting used to it. And let's be honest here, the graphics aren't the best because they're like almost 20 years old. Holy shit. When you think about it, like this came out in 2002. 2022 is when it would have been 20 years old. So, but like, holy shit. That's like, it's crazy when you think about it. Look at games from 2002 and look at them when hopefully when it was 2022, right? And then you think of games from say 1980 to 2000 because that would be the same time frame. And it's like, holy shit. How much have we advanced yet? Yeah, I guess not advanced. It's, it's, it's really interesting to say stuff like time and stuff and you go, Oh, uh, 80s to 2000 was 20 years. Uh, 2000 to 2020 is 20 years. And it's like, like, it's just crazy how far things have gotten and gone and go technology-wise. I think it's been a mix of good um, progression and not as good progression. I think there's a bit we need to take back. But it also goes to show you how timeless games in general can be. I'm playing this game right now and I'm enjoying myself. Like, this is fun. Sure, I could. I would like more people on screen and uh, tighter control, 60 frames a second, second and stuff. But for what I'm getting, it's pretty damn good. I don't, don't hate it. Then again, I'm somebody that looks at a game like this and goes, "Look, this game came out in 2002. It isn't gonna really fare up much to modern gaming, nor does it have to." When you put yourself to play old games, put yourself in the mindset of this is when it came out. This is the time frame it came out. And you will love those games. I can play games from... It's when I watch movies as well, and I watch them with special effects and stuff. It's like... It's... it's You look at it from when it first came out. That's what you look at it from. And you don't go crazy over it, because it's like, well, this came out then. So who cares? You have that mindset, and you'll be able to take over anything. Or at least enjoy everything, anything. Really depends on... Who you are. <laughs> I think it's raining outside. Cool. Oh shit, oh shit. I also love this. This actually reminds me of The Last Jedi when Poe's doing that, like, going really fast and just stops and skids. This is cool. <laughs> it's canon in video games. Oh man. Just, I can just imagine how old you must feel if you're, like, 1993 and 1993 was 20 years ago. Oh, a long time ago. Like, five years ago. Uh, why are you dying? I don't know why it's not dying. I really feel like you should be dying right now. Okay. Hang on, what am I supposed to do? space station defenses, Liberator must survive. Okay. I assume that's Liberator. Oh, now you're taking... Oh, I must have made it as a glitch. I hope, maybe. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, hang on, that's the last one, I think. So, if we just... Here we go. You bitch. Take that, you wank stain. Are we done? Are they all dead? Or is there one more? There's one more, I think. Sorry there's not much topics to really speak of. Um, I'm starting to get a mix of... Like, just talking about Star Wars topics all the time might get a bit boring, so I'm trying to also just, like, keep myself in the game as well for some viewers. Um, but we talked about Battlefront, we talked about Last Jedi, which I'm probably going to buy if it's a good price. If it's, like, 30 bucks, maybe. Um, I'm not really too fussed about it. I might even just download it, I don't know. I, I will buy it in the end, but I don't know if I want to buy, like, the, the Disney films by via a... Well, via a, a box set, if they do one, or just individually. Well, at least, at least let's put it this way. Uh, Last Jedi has more of a chance of getting bought than Episode 7. Mainly because it's got, like, Luke Skywalker in it. Even if he wasn't the best character done in it, it I'm still going to just love it because Luke Skywalker. Because Luke Skywalker is awesome. But I can definitely understand the hate. And the hate is kind of worth it. Absolutely. I think the hate for the new trilogy... It's mixed, but it makes sense. Episode 7 was not a good Star Wars film. Neither, neither in a way was, um, neither in a way was, uh, I'm going to see if I can destroy these. I guess not. Can I? Yes. Neither in a way was, um, The Last Jedi. Rogue One was, I thought was great. I really liked Rogue One, because that, to me, Rogue One was the perfect blend of original trilogy and prequel trilogy and a bit of the new stuff as well. And that was perfect. Even had like Knights of the Old Republic trilogy stuff too, which was awesome. 
to me, Disney should be trying to make more Rogue Ones than, well, Episode 7s and, uh, uh, Last Jedi's. Because Rogue One was really good. Hen Solo might be good. I know for some people Hen Solo makes no sense. And I'm in, the, I'm in that boat too. I'm like, why do we have Hen Solo? But I'm not against Hen Solo at all. Uh, prevent them from... Okay, cool. I am nowhere near against Han Solo as much as I used to be because, well, it looks kind of fun. It does. It looks like a fun, like, space western tour to film. So, I'm actually kind of excited for it. Not, well, I'm not excited as in, oh my god, I can't wait. I gotta see it day one. I'm kind of excited for it in terms of, I'll, watch it, I'll probably watch it when it comes out on the weekend or something. Because um, it looks really, it does look a bit fun, though, and I hope. I think I'm more excited for it to see what it does with canon, like if it brings in a lot of legend people in, because they brought, I think, Biggs and someone else from canon into this film, so it'd be really interesting to see what else they bring in. Are they going to bring in more KOTOR stuff? Are they going to bring in uh, just more Clone Wars stuff? Like, what are they going to bring in? And that, that excites me far more than what the sequel trilogy is so far. Until the sequel trilogy hopefully does like a 10 year, 5 to 10 year time gap, and like, just do a five ten year time gap and give us a Jedi temple with Jedi. You know, I don't and to, and as much as I'm going to be annoyed that it's probably going to be take you know all the Jedi are probably going to be trained by Rey, which is the dumbest thing ever. I'm still going to watch it because look, we've now got a part of the universe where there's more Jedi. The Jedi have returned. That's exactly that's what we wanted. That's why I love the prequel trilogy a lot because we saw the Jedi, but they were flawed. And the best thing to do is to take that flawed dogma of what the Jedi were in the prequels and get it fixed by the Jedi Order that hopefully Luke was going to make. But no, Disney, you had to kill everything. And because why? I still don't get it. I would have been fine with a Jedi killer if there was, you know, more Jedi to kill. And I know technically there are Jedi still out there with the Knights of Ren and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just. I, in a way, it's me wanting something that not, we're not getting, and I get that, but just to, also for the fact that this that's kind of what Episode 6 set up, and you could have done it really well. You could have had more prequel references. You could have been like, look, the Jedi weren't as perfect as they were supposed to be, and I, that was touched upon in Episode um, 8, but it really should have been better, you know? If It should have been something along the lines of there are more Jedi out there that he's been kept a, kept a lid on. I don't know. Ugh, it's just annoying. It really is annoying. Well, it annoys me. It absolutely annoys me. God damn it, god damn it. Come on, die, die. These missions go for a while. Which back then is a good thing, I guess. There's a freighter. Hey. I don't know if I was supposed to attack that, but whatever. It just explodes. Like, wow! Alright, that's the end of that part. I have to admit, that was fun. I can't see what's going on with the uh, campaign trailer thing, uh, the cutscene, but... I liked it. I really did. I can't wait to play the rest of this game. I'll probably play the rest of this game. Um, I don't know if I'll do a part two. Some games I want to do a part two on. Some games I'm kind of like, meh. I want to do a part two on, but... We'll wait and see. I've definitely got the Clone Wars coming probably next week. Whenever it, well, whenever it gets in. So I've got the Clone Wars, hopefully Jedi Outcast 2 on Xbox. And then that's probably it for now. What Those two games, probably it. I want to get Jedi Academy, even though I own it on PC. But I want to get Jedi Academy on Xbox again. But holy shit, they cost way too much money. But we'll see. Things You get, you get lucky every now and then. Anyway, Aussie Viking out. See you in Valhalla. Bye.